Will the real full moon please stand up? We've asked that question several times over the last five or six years. We reported on the first phase change in the moon, apparent phase change. Happened on July 2nd, 2015, I believe. Or was it 2016? Anyways, the the moon on the, the 18th, they call the full moon. The moon on the 17th was a full moon. C saying the moon was 100% lit on two separate nights is kind of hard to understand because it never used to happen. And the fact that it is happening now and the fact that we're having super moons should cause you to lean forward and cock your head a little sideways. You see, we never had super moons. We never had king tides until just the last 10 years. They're blaming the king tides on sea level change. Well, the sea level change must only happen a couple times, three times, four times a year. Just happens to be in conjunction with major body alignments. And I'm showing you pictures from the 16th, 17th, and the 18th of March. The moon on March 18th was significantly and noticeably larger than the moon on the 17th. It was shockingly large. It was huge. It was kind of frightening. Seeing how I thought the full moon was supposed to appear on the 17th based upon an Earth sky.org diagram. And when we look at the worm moon, we see that they're, they're starting, they say March 16th. So when was the full moon? When was it? And to me, I kind of thought the moon may have been 99%. But so close and the sun so bright, it kind of lit up the, the little sliver that normally would be in the dark. But here's an article that talks about several things of interest. It says that the moon is 4.9 degrees above the ecliptic. Well, that's pretty good. As, as long as we've seen how long it's been south. But I really don't think it's 4.9 degrees above the ecliptic. And we're going to have to wait till it comes back around and reaches Regulus again. Because Regulus, no margin of error. It sits on the ecliptic. So if it's south of Regulus or north of Regulus, especially by 5 degrees, it'll show next time. But some of these pictures are from the 17th. Some of them are from the 18th. Uh, and you really can't tell the difference. Uh, you know, and size is very subjective when it comes to still photographs. But anybody who saw the moon on March 18th, which is today as I'm making this video, but the video, video could take a, a day to go up, so then March 18th would be yesterday. But 4.9 degrees north of Regulus. That would be... I would like to see that. I really would. And when you look at some of the moon calendars, they have March 18th as the worm moon, while other people were saying March 17th. I even put up an image that said full worm moon, March 17th. And quite frankly, as I read these articles about the worm moon, I see... A disagreement also on whether it was a supermoon or not a supermoon. On the 17th, not a supermoon. On the 18th, supermoon. That's how I saw it. So what can be said when the, some calendars say March 17th is the warm moon? March 18th is a warm moon? March 18th it was a supermoon? March 18th it wasn't a supermoon? Uh, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to have to figure out that a lot of things in the solar system have changed, that it's due to a large body that came through, that the supermoons are getting fewer, but last night was spectacular, 
and it may have been a 99% moon that looked 100% because it was so close and the sun is so bright. But, you know, pick your calendar. And until next time, be prepared, not scared. Thank you.